Hey guys and girls, in today's video we are going to be looking at the ring bit car again and this is going to be tutorial 2 to 5. If you haven't checked out the build and tutorial 1, check that video out, it's in the description. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to draw a shape. So we can keep what we had from tutorial one, which is on start, left wheel at pin one, and right wheel at pin two. We're going to scrap everything else, go to basics, and we're going to add some iteration with a forever loop. We're then going to go to ring bit car, and we're going to have go straight at full speed, and then we're going to put a pause in. And the pause can be found under the basics tab. I'm going to set that to a thousand. We're going to go back to the ring bit car and we're going to turn right at full speed. We're going to put another pause in, but much shorter. We're only going to have it set to a hundred. So as on the turns, it's a little bit slower and that's it. So um, once we've done that, we can copy it to the uh, micro bit and we'll test this out. Okay, for this um, tutorial, we're going to have to add the elastic band that's provided. Um, it's in the, the box. It's a little clear band. Now, I couldn't quite work out how to get this to go through. So, I decided to scrap it and use a cable tie, which, uh, which seems to be a lot easier. It's a lot easier to get through, and it will hold any pen in place. So, I just found it, it was just much, much easier to do. Um, so I'm just testing it with a just a big biro. What I'm going to do is probably swap it out for a sharpie so it draws easier. Um, but we'll see. So I'm just tightening the cable tie to hold the pen in place, make sure it's quite tight, and it should work quite well. So that's the idea. So I'll pop the uh, the the micro bit back on the front reconnect everything up and uh, then we'll get and code the uh, the the drawing uh, part where we're going to get it to draw a circle okay so let's get started with the code we're going to need the set left pin one and pin two we're going to need an input and that's going to be on button a pressed go back to the ring bit car and we're going to do the set left wheel speed and we're going to set that to 100 with the right wheel speed at 50. Then going to go back to input and we're going to add uh, an on button A pressed. I'm going to do on button B pressed and then we're going to go ring bit car brake. And that's it. So we can get this uh, put onto the micro bit and we'll give this a test. So I really like this feature. Like I said, I've put a Sharpie on, we'll press the button and away it goes. So really, really nice. I think you could probably come up with some pretty cool um, code for this to draw different shapes and pictures, uh, try and spell your name out and things like that. So really liked it. Okay, tutorial four, we're gonna need the uh, go straight ahead. We're gonna put that under the set left wheel pin section. We're then gonna go into Neo Pixel and we're gonna get set strip to Neo Pixel. And all we're gonna do is change it from 24 to two LEDs. And we're gonna leave the RGB color as it is. 
go back to basics and we're going to put a forever loop in then neo picks again and we're going to go to uh what do we want uh strip and we're going to show color red and then we will go to basic and we will add a pause and then we're just going to leave that at default at 100 and then we'll duplicate the strip again and set it to blue so we're going to get a red and blue flashing light duplicate the pause again and pop the pause in and that's it so let's test this one out so as you can see some really cool little flashing lights um it just adds to the project really you can you know have a have a think about what you could use these for comment below and let me know how you'd use the lights um we'll just kill the uh, kill the overhead light and we can see that it is actually pretty bright um quite like it okay so tutorial five we'll have the on start set left wheel pin one and pin two as usual we'll go to basic we will add a forever loop and we're then going to go to variables make a variable and we're going to call it left click ok we're then going to take the left variable that we've made and put that into forever loop and it says set left to zero we're going to go to maths and drag in the pick random drop that in and we're going to have it set from minus 100 to 100 then going to go back to variable make another variable and it's going to be right click ok and we'll drag uh, the set right into there and again we'll duplicate the maths drag that into where it's zero and we'll have it set as the same we'll go to basic and grab a pause i'm going to set that to a thousand and then under ring bit car we're going to pop in the set left wheel speed and we're going to grab the variable and we're going to set that to left and the right sp wheel speed we're going to use the right variable that we've created and this is going to do a crazy little dance let's check it out That's it for today guys and girls let me know what you thought of the ring bit car um, I think it's a pretty cool product and um, I'd like to know if you're gonna buy it are you gonna, what would you use it for um, hit that like button it really helps me out I really appreciate everyone watching and uh, your comments are great so you're really making this channel work so thanks a lot for that um, also hit the subscribe button I've got two other products coming up from elect freaks that are pretty exciting so you don't want to miss out on those mm -hmm.